welcome to this week's episode of the Ranch Hole Roundup, where we round up the news so you don't have to. Ladies and gentlemen, in this week's episode, I'm going to be talking with Miss Cindy from the Community Service Center about the wine tasting that they're having coming up next week at ET's. They've got a couple of spots left, so let's try to get that filled. And then the one, the only, the infamous Andy Graham is here, and he doesn't pick on me for a whole segment to talk about trick or treat and the Halloween party that they're going to have out at the sports complex. I hope you enjoy the show, guys, as much as I enjoy making it. We'll talk to you soon. Welcome back to the Roundup, everybody. This week, I have decided to switch things up a little bit, and we're going to take some extra time and talk with my dear friend Cindy Crawford from the Community Service Center about all the things that they have coming up. Because, man, there's a lot going on. Cindy, how are you? I'm good. Yes, we do. I have a busy fall and winter coming up. I know. <laughs> so we're going to cover all the things today. The first thing we're going to talk about is the wine tasting for the Eagle's Nest Food Pantry that's coming Coming up soon on October 24th. Now you'll have to forgive us if you hear some background noise. As you guys know, I record from my home and they're doing something in my backyard. So bless the the background noise today, everybody. (laughs) Um, So Cindy, tell us about the wine tasting. So we're really excited about it. We're going to have Julia Larson here and she's a representative of Treasury Wine Estates and they represent some of the finest wines in the world. Ooh. Yes, it's going to be very cool. And so she's bringing along six different wines, ETs down town restaurant. We're partnering with them. That's where the event's going to be. They're going to be doing their really beautiful charcuterie boards and appetizers along with that. Yes, it sounds wonderful. So this event at ET's is a register event. So what you would like people to do, we were just talking about this off Mm -hmm. air. You've had a lot of people share their interest and say that they're able to go, but they haven't signed up yet. So you need people to go to Eventbrite and sign up for it. So guys, as you're watching this on... Uh, YouTube, you should be seeing the register, the QR code. So you, hopefully you'll be able to get it there. If not, I'm going to share a link with the QR to the flyer with the U, QR code so you can catch that. So tell us a little bit more. There's going to be wine, charcuterie. What else can people expect when they walk in the door? Sure. So Julie's going to be there and she's going to be really talking about each wine. That people will be able to ask questions. So there's going to be a lot of information a- along with it as well. And it's, are they pairing it with like stuff on the charcuterie board? Some like that kind of a situation. Right. So um, what they're doing is they're going to bring these six wines and they're going to be explaining them and and kind of giving background. And then, yes, they're preparing these charcuterie boards and appetizers to go along with. That'll be wonderful. So it's $75 per person. Yes. The event is the 24th. It starts at 530 and it goes till eight. So it'll be your evening, but it's well worth the time. And now is this the second time you guys have done this? Didn't you guys do one of these before? We did. We did one back in March. It was very successful. It sold out quickly. So we know that there's interest and and people love coming to these. Yes, I think that's wonderful. So there is event number one. Yes. Tell us about, this is, guys, I'm super excited about this. When I saw this post on Facebook yesterday, I was I was like, okay, this means something is coming. So Jersey Mike's is having you guys do a fundraiser. Yes, it's very exciting. So they're partnering with us. They contacted us, and they're coming to town, as we know. Yeah. And so their grand opening week is November 1st through November 5th. November 1st through the 5th. You heard it here. Yes. And so if you uh, visit their store between in Rantoul between it, November 1st and November 5th and use the promo code Rantoul20. Rantoul20, guys. Write that down. Then you'll be they'll donate 20% of their sales that whole week to us. The whole week. That's fantastic. It really is. Now, um, you said they approached you. Have you guys been having a, a long going dialogue or did they just give you a call last week and say, hey, we know when we're going to Okay. No, not at all. Um, they they approached us a little over a month or so ago okay. and said, hey, we're coming to town. And, and I said, I know. We're all really excited. Right. Can't wait to yeah. have some Jersey Mike's. And they said, we really want to work with you and partner with you for our opening grand opening week. I think that that's a really great thing for them mm-hmm. to do. What a wonderful splash to make in the community. It is. So what what other things do you guys have going on besides this? What What's coming up after the Jersey Mike's fundraiser? Sure. So, um, of course, we have our holiday bureau coming up. Okay. And that's our holiday toy and food distribution. Okay. And so you don't have to have kiddos to, to be a part of that. In fact, we give out food vouchers to families with or without children. Good to and know. And then we give out, of course, toys to those. 
kiddos with kiddos. Yeah, yeah. wonderful. So when is that going to be? It's going to be coming up in December, and actually we have our planning meeting tomorrow. Okay. So I don't have a final date. So we'll have to have you back on the podcast yes. to tell us about it. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. Very good. And then off air, we were talking about Spring Fling, because we know that's yeah. coming around the corner too. And guys, I think uh, for another fundraiser for the Community Service Center, that Spring Fling this year is going to be a little bit different. And I think Cindy's really excited about it. So we can have her back on to talk about that too. Well, Cindy, we will get this information out to the community for you. Thanks for being on today. I always enjoy having you. Thank you so much. I love being here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rantel Roundup. Guys, I got to tell you, I've been waiting so long. I've been trying to put this interview off for a while because sometimes he picks on me and I don't know how to deal with it. The one and only Andy Graham is in the house today. Andy, what's going on? How we doing, Kim? Just, <laughs> just trying to finish up a Wednesday afternoon. Yep, Wednesdays are the days. Um, Andy, tell us about this uh, Halloween party you guys got going on this year. So we're, uh, we're hosting our annual Halloween event out at the sports complex. It'll be Monday night. Uh, October 30th, 6 to 7.30 uh, at the Sorrento Sports Complex. It's a continuation of the one we used to do at the Youth Center. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done it downtown before. We've had it about everywhere in town, but yeah. we've been doing it at the complex. The last couple of years, uh, Mother Nature hasn't worked out. Yeah. Um, I'm proud to say we did it during COVID as well. It was mm -hmm. a success during COVID, but uh, it's just a party. We get the inflatables out for the kids. We get the businesses involved, and, and uh, they bring uh, different games or different uh, snacks for the kids and uh, we give out free hot dogs and chips and a drink to everybody and uh, it's just a fun night for especially for the parents that maybe not like to take their kids neighborhood to neighborhood yeah. uh, uh, a chance for the kids to get dressed up and we just have a good time and it's a safe space uh, lots of different things going on tell us if if somebody is, hasn't been involved and wants to get involved how could they reach out to you to get a spot for well it? if you're a business or a social group or of any kind you just got to call the rec department office or, or uh, and talk to Alyssa or call the sports complex office and talk to Kenitra. Either one would work and uh, uh, let us know uh, what you're planning on doing and we'll give you all the details on, on how to get there and, and what time to get there and how to get set up. Okay, and then tell us again, it's Monday night the 30th? It's the night before Halloween, 6 to 7.30. Uh, encourage all the parents to bring the kiddos out and uh, we'll have a great time. Now, is there anything else going on? Any other big things that we're heading into this kind of almost winter-ish fall thing? Uh, yeah, we just started our basketball signups for our okay. older kids. That'll go on uh, at the forum uh, towards the middle to the end of December and we'll kick off games in January. Uh, youth Center renovation is going well. It's yeah. almost, uh, all destruction is almost done. And construction will start hopefully by the end of the week if not next week and uh, um, yeah, we got lots of good things happening. We're looking forward to our Thanksgiving slash Christmas uh, senior citizen dinner in December yeah, as well. And yeah. When is that going to be in December? Uh, we're still finalizing a date because we'll have to get to a new location because uh, it usually is held at the youth center, okay. but obviously we can't do that. So uh, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll pick a date out here in the next week or two and then breakfast with Santa as well. Yep. Same same thing. We'll pick Thank out you. a date and we'll go from there. And then um, the village is taking over responsibility for the, the Christmas parade this year. And that's what I've heard. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for <laughs> some more information yeah, on that. We're, but... Yeah. We're going to, we're going to work through that with yeah. uh, several different uh, people in the village, and mm -hmm. we'll make that a good event as well. So it sounds like there's a lot of great um, family-friendly events coming up and oh. things happening. So if you have any questions, guys, don't be afraid to reach out to Alyssa. She, I'm sure she can get you all the information. Or just track Andy down. He's always everywhere all the time. Yep, yep. We're willing to help anyone. Well, so. thanks for coming on. All right. Thanks, Kim. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this week and this season of the Rantoul Roundup. This is going to be the last podcast for season one as we go into the holiday season and everything is ramping up and my schedule gets a little bit crazier and it's harder to track people down. I'll be putting out some more uh, social media posts and stuff that way until after the holidays and then once the holidays are over, we'll pick back up with some new episodes. I already have some lined up stuff for season two to bring to you and the community and I'm excited to do that. So thanks for sticking in with me for these first 18. I have really enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you in season two.